Rejection is a part of life that we all have to face at some point. Whether it's a failed job application, a rejection from a romantic interest, or even rejection from friends or family, it can be a painful experience. However, instead of letting rejection bring you down, why not use it to your favor? Here are 15 lessons on how to use rejection to your favor. 1. Don't take it personally. Rejection is a natural part of life, yet it can be one of the most difficult things to handle. Whether it comes in the form of a job rejection, a romantic rejection, or any other type, it can leave us feeling hurt, disappointed, and even questioning our self-worth. It's easy to take rejection personally and let it impact our confidence and self-esteem. However, it's important to remember that rejection is not a reflection of who we are as individuals. It's simply a response to a specific situation or circumstance. Often, the person or institution doing the rejecting is not rejecting us as a whole, but rather a certain aspect of ourselves or our actions. For example, a job rejection may not mean that we are not talented or capable, but rather that we were not the right fit for that particular position. Similarly, a romantic rejection may not mean that we are unlovable, but rather that the other person was not ready for a relationship at that time. It's important to separate the rejection from our sense of self and to not let it define us. Instead of dwelling on the rejection and taking it personally, we can use it as an opportunity to learn and grow. We can reflect on what we can improve upon and use the experience to become stronger and more resilient. It's also important to remember that rejection is often a blessing in disguise. It may lead us to better opportunities and relationships that are more aligned with our goals and values. So, the next time you face rejection, try not to take it personally. Instead, view it as a chance to learn and move forward towards better things. 2. Analyze the reasons. Rejection is a painful and difficult experience that most of us have faced at some point in our lives. Whether it's a rejection from a potential romantic partner, a job opportunity, or even a friendship, the feeling of being turned down can leave us feeling hurt, confused, and even angry. So why do people reject us? There are a multitude of reasons why someone might reject us, and it's important to analyze and understand these reasons in order to move forward and grow from the experience. One of the most common reasons for rejection is simply a lack of compatibility. We all have our own unique set of values, beliefs, and preferences, and sometimes these may clash with those of the person who rejected us. This could be due to differences in personality, interests, or life goals. For example, if you are an introverted person who values alone time and quiet activities, you may not be compatible with someone who is more extroverted and enjoys being constantly surrounded by people and engaging in high-energy activities. In this case, the rejection is not a reflection of your worth as a person, but simply a recognition that the two of you are not a good match. Another reason for rejection is timing. Sometimes we may meet someone who we feel a strong connection with, but the timing just isn't right. They may be going through a difficult time in their life, or they may not be emotionally ready for a relationship. In these situations, it's important to remember that the rejection is not a reflection of your value as a person, but rather a result of external circumstances. In some cases, a rejection may be a result of our own behavior or actions. We may have said or done something that made the other person feel uncomfortable, or we may have unintentionally hurt them in some way. It's important to take a step back and reflect on our own behavior in these situations and to take responsibility for our actions. This can help us learn and grow from the experience and potentially improve our relationships in the future. Another factor that can lead to rejection is fear. Some people may reject us because they are afraid of getting hurt or opening up to someone. They may have been hurt in the past and are therefore hesitant to let someone new into their lives. This fear can also stem from a lack of self-confidence or a fear of intimacy. In these cases, the rejection is not about us, but rather about the other person's own fears and insecurities. Furthermore, societal and cultural norms can also play a role in rejection. We live in a society that values certain traits and characteristics, and if we don't fit into these norms, we may face rejection. For example, if you don't conform to traditional beauty standards, you may be rejected by someone who places a high value on physical appearance. It's important to remember that these societal norms are subjective and arbitrary, and they should not define our worth as individuals. 
It's important to acknowledge that rejection is a natural part of life. Not everyone we meet will like us or want to be in our lives, and that's okay. It's impossible to please everyone, and it's important to not take rejection personally. Instead, we should use these experiences as opportunities for growth and self-reflection. Rejection can teach us valuable lessons about ourselves and others, and can ultimately lead us to more fulfilling and genuine relationships in the future. 3. Learn from it. Rejection is a part of life that we all face at some point. It can come in many forms, whether it's a rejection from a job, a relationship, or even a simple request. It's a feeling that no one enjoys, but it's important to learn from it. Rejection can be a powerful teacher if we are willing to listen and reflect on the experience. It can teach us about ourselves, our strengths, and our weaknesses. It can also teach us about the world around us and how to navigate through difficult situations. When we are rejected, it can be easy to feel discouraged and lose confidence in ourselves. However, it's important to remember that rejection does not define us. It's simply a response to a particular situation, and it doesn't determine our worth as individuals. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, it's important to reflect on it and try to understand why it happened. This can help us identify areas for improvement and growth. Rejection can also teach us about resilience and determination. It's natural to feel disappointed and even defeated after being rejected, but it's important to not let that discourage us from trying again. We can use the experience to fuel our determination and strive for success in the future. As the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Rejection can make us stronger if we choose to learn from it and use it as motivation to keep moving forward. Moreover, rejection can also teach us about empathy and understanding. When we have experienced rejection ourselves, we can better understand what others may be going through when they face rejection. This can make us more compassionate and empathetic towards others and help us to be more supportive and understanding when someone else is going through a similar experience. Rejection can also push us out of our comfort zones and help us grow. It can be easy to stay in our comfort zone and avoid situations that may lead to rejection. However, by facing rejection and learning from it, we can expand our horizons and push ourselves to try new things. This can lead to personal and professional growth and ultimately help us to become more resilient individuals. Rejection may be a difficult and unpleasant experience, but it's important to learn from it. It can teach us valuable lessons about ourselves, our relationships, and the world around us. By reflecting on our rejections and using them as opportunities for growth and learning, we can become stronger, more empathetic, and more resilient individuals. So, instead of fearing rejection, let's embrace it and use it as a chance to learn and become better versions of ourselves. 4. Keep a Positive Attitude The first step to keeping a positive attitude when facing rejection is to acknowledge and accept your feelings. It's okay to feel disappointed and upset, and it's important to give yourself time to process these emotions. However, it's also important to not dwell on them for too long. Instead, try to shift your focus onto the bigger picture. Remind yourself that rejection is not a reflection of your worth or abilities, but simply a part of the journey towards achieving your goals. Another important aspect of maintaining a positive attitude when rejected is to avoid taking it personally. It can be easy to internalize rejection and believe that there is something wrong with us, but the truth is that there are many factors that can contribute to being rejected. Perhaps there were other candidates who were more qualified for the job, or the timing just wasn't right for a romantic relationship. It's important to understand that rejection is often a result of external circumstances and not a personal attack on our character. In addition to reframing our mindset towards rejection, it's also crucial to practice self-care and self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding during this time. Engage in activities that make you happy and bring you peace. Whether it's spending time with loved ones, exercising, or indulging in a favorite hobby. Remember to be patient with yourself and give yourself the time and space you need to heal from the rejection. Finally, it's important to view rejection as an opportunity for growth and learning. Take some time to reflect on the experience and identify any areas where you can improve or learn from. Use the rejection as motivation to work harder and become even better. 
Remember that every rejection brings you one step closer to success and that it's all a part of the journey towards achieving your goals. Keeping a positive attitude when rejected is not an easy task, but it is a crucial one. By acknowledging and accepting our emotions, reframing our mindset, practicing self-care and self-compassion, and using rejection as a learning experience, we can turn a negative situation into a positive one. Remember that rejection does not define us, and it is simply a stepping stone towards our ultimate success. So keep your head held high, stay resilient, and keep moving forward with a positive attitude. 5. Use it as motivation. When we face rejection, we are forced to confront our shortcomings and weaknesses. It may feel like a blow to our ego, but it also presents an opportunity for self-reflection and improvement. Instead of dwelling on the negative aspects of rejection, we can use it as a chance to evaluate ourselves and our actions. We can ask ourselves, what could I have done differently? Or, what skills do I need to develop to improve in the future? By doing so, we can turn our rejection into a learning experience that propels us forward. Moreover, rejection can also serve as a reminder of our goals and aspirations. When we face rejection, it means that we have put ourselves out there and taken a chance. It shows that we are not afraid to go after what we want, even if it means facing the possibility of rejection. This determination and perseverance are what make us successful in the long run. By using rejection as motivation, we can remind ourselves of our ultimate goals and keep pushing towards them, no matter what obstacles come our way. Furthermore, rejection can also teach us resilience and grit. It is an inevitable part of life, and how we handle it says a lot about our character. When we pick ourselves back up after facing rejection, we are building our mental toughness and resilience. We learn to bounce back stronger and not let rejection define us. This resilience is a crucial trait that can help us overcome any challenges that come our way and ultimately lead us to success. In addition, rejection can also push us out of our comfort zones. When we face rejection, we are forced to step out of our safe bubble and take risks. This can lead us to new opportunities and experiences that we may have never considered before. It can also open doors to new relationships and connections, which can be vital for personal and professional growth. By using rejection as motivation, we can challenge ourselves to break out of our comfort zones and reach our full potential. Rejection is not something to be feared or avoided. Instead, we should embrace it and use it as a powerful source of motivation. By evaluating ourselves, reminding ourselves of our goals, building resilience, and stepping out of our comfort zones, we can turn rejection into a tool for growth and success. So the next time you face rejection, don't let it bring you down. Use it as a driving force towards achieving your dreams and becoming the best version of yourself. 6. Reassess your goals. Rejection is often viewed as a negative and discouraging experience. It can make us doubt our abilities and question our self-worth. However, what if we were to look at rejection in a different light? What if we were to use it as a tool for self-reflection and reassessment of our goals? Instead of letting rejection bring us down, we can use it as a stepping stone towards growth and success. When we face rejection, it forces us to take a step back and evaluate our actions and decisions. We may start to question if we are on the right path or if we need to make some changes. This self-reflection can be a powerful tool in helping us reassess our goals. Perhaps the rejection we faced was a sign that we were chasing the wrong goal, or that we need to make some adjustments to our approach. Moreover, rejection also teaches us resilience and perseverance. It reminds us that success does not come easy, and that we need to be persistent in chasing our dreams. We may face multiple rejections before finally achieving our goals, but each rejection serves as a learning experience and makes us stronger. In addition, rejection can also open doors to new opportunities. When one door closes, another one opens. Sometimes the rejection we face may lead us to discover new passions and interests that we may have never considered before. It can also lead us to meet new people and make new connections, which can ultimately help us in achieving our goals. Furthermore, using rejection to reassess our goals allows us to have a more realistic and practical approach towards achieving them. It helps us set more achievable goals and make necessary adjustments to our plans. 
Sometimes we may have set unrealistic goals for ourselves, and rejection can serve as a wake-up call to reassess and set more attainable goals. Rejection should not be viewed as a setback or a failure. Instead, we should embrace it as a valuable tool for self-reflection and reassessment of our goals. It can teach us important lessons, make us stronger and more resilient, and ultimately lead us towards achieving our goals. So, the next time you face rejection, don't let it discourage you. Use it as an opportunity to reassess your goals and come back even stronger. 7. Don't give up. When we face rejection, our initial reaction may be to give up and accept defeat. We may feel like we're not good enough or that we'll never succeed. But the truth is, rejection is a natural and necessary part of life. It allows us to learn and grow from our mistakes and helps us to develop resilience and determination. In fact, some of the most successful people in history have faced rejection numerous times before achieving their goals. J.K. Rowling, the author of the famous Harry Potter series, was rejected by 12 publishers before her book was finally accepted. Walt Disney was told he lacked creativity and had no good ideas before creating one of the most successful entertainment companies in the world. These individuals didn't let rejection stop them from pursuing their dreams and ultimately achieving great success. One of the most important things to remember when facing rejection is to not take it personally. It's easy to internalize rejection and let it affect our self-esteem, but the truth is, it often has more to do with the person or situation rejecting us than it does with our own worth. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, we should use it as an opportunity to reflect and improve upon ourselves. Another important thing to keep in mind is that rejection is not a permanent state. Just because we have been rejected once, doesn't mean we will be rejected forever. It's important to have a growth mindset and see rejection as a chance to learn and improve ourselves. We can use the feedback from the rejection to make necessary changes and come back even stronger. Furthermore, it's important to have a support system in place when facing rejection. Surrounding ourselves with people who believe in us and our abilities can help us stay positive and motivated. Talking to friends or family about our feelings can also provide us with a different perspective and help us see that rejection is not the end of the road. Finally, it's important to not give up when faced with rejection. It may be tempting to throw in the towel and give up on our dreams, but we must remember that every successful person has faced rejection at some point. It's not about how many times we get knocked down, but how many times we get back up and keep moving forward. Rejection is a natural part of life and should not be viewed as a roadblock. Instead, we should embrace rejection as an opportunity for growth and use it to fuel our determination to succeed. With the right mindset and support system, we can overcome rejection and achieve our goals. So don't give up when rejected, but rather use it as motivation to keep pushing forward and ultimately reach our full potential. 8. Surround yourself with positivity. Rejection is a difficult pill to swallow. Whether it's being turned down for a job, rejected by a potential love interest, or not accepted into a desired program or opportunity, it can leave us feeling defeated, discouraged, and even questioning our self-worth. However, in these moments of rejection, it is crucial to surround ourselves with positivity. It may seem counterintuitive to seek out positivity when faced with rejection, but it is actually one of the most effective ways to cope and move forward. First and foremost, surrounding ourselves with positivity can help to shift our mindset and perspective. When we are faced with rejection, our thoughts tend to spiral into negativity. We may start to believe that we are not good enough or that we will never achieve our goals. However, surrounding ourselves with positive people, activities, and environments can help us to see the situation in a more positive light. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, we can focus on the opportunities and possibilities that may come our way in the future. Moreover, positivity is contagious. When we surround ourselves with positive people, their energy and attitude can rub off on us. They can offer words of encouragement, share their own stories of overcoming rejection, and provide a supportive and uplifting environment. This can help us to feel less alone in our experience and remind us that rejection is a natural part of life. We can also learn from their positive outlook and use it to fuel our own resilience. In addition, surrounding ourselves with positivity can also boost our self-confidence and self-esteem. Rejection can often leave us feeling insecure and doubting our abilities. 
However, spending time with positive people who believe in us and our potential can help us to see our worth and value. They can remind us of our strengths and help us to see that rejection does not define us. This can be especially beneficial when facing multiple rejections, as it can be easy to lose sight of our strengths and accomplishments. Lastly, surrounding ourselves with positivity can help us to focus on the present moment and be grateful for what we do have. When we are consumed by rejection, it can be easy to overlook the good things in our lives. By surrounding ourselves with positivity, we can be reminded to appreciate the blessings and opportunities that we do have, rather than dwelling on what we don't. While rejection may be a difficult and painful experience, surrounding ourselves with positivity can help us to cope and move forward. It can shift our mindset, offer support and encouragement, boost our self-confidence, and help us to focus on the present. So, when faced with rejection, let us seek out positivity in all forms and use it to propel us towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. 9. Embrace Failure Rejection is something that we all face at some point in our lives. Whether it is being turned down for a job, rejected by a romantic interest, or not being chosen for a team or project, it can be a difficult and painful experience. However, instead of viewing rejection as a roadblock or a sign of personal failure, we should embrace it as a necessary step towards success. Rejection is not a reflection of our worth or abilities, but rather an opportunity for growth and learning. It allows us to reassess our goals and motivations and to improve upon our skills and approach. When we are rejected, we are forced to confront our weaknesses and figure out how to overcome them. This can lead to a greater sense of self-awareness and self-improvement. Additionally, Rejection can also open up new opportunities and paths that we may not have considered before. It can push us out of our comfort zone and encourage us to try new things or take on new challenges. By embracing failure when rejected, we are also building resilience and perseverance. We learn to pick ourselves up and keep moving forward, even when faced with disappointment. This mindset can be applied to all aspects of our lives, not just in the face of rejection. It allows us to approach challenges with a positive and growth-oriented mindset, rather than one of defeat and self-doubt. Ultimately, embracing failure when rejected is a powerful tool for personal and professional growth and can lead us to even greater success in the long run. So instead of fearing rejection, let us welcome it with open arms and use it as a stepping stone towards achieving our goals and dreams. 10. Take a break. Rejection can be a difficult and painful experience, whether it's in your personal or professional life. It can leave you feeling hurt, disappointed, and even questioning your self-worth. In these moments, it's important to take a break and give yourself some time to heal and recover. It's natural to want to immediately jump back into the game and try again, but pushing yourself too hard can often do more harm than good. Taking a break allows you to step back and gain some perspective, it gives you the opportunity to process your emotions and reflect on what may have gone wrong. It's also a chance to reevaluate your goals and make any necessary adjustments. Sometimes rejection can open doors to new opportunities that you may not have considered before. By taking a break, you give yourself the space to explore these possibilities without the pressure of trying to immediately bounce back. Additionally, taking a break can also help prevent burnout. Constantly pushing yourself to succeed, despite repeated rejection, can lead to feelings of exhaustion and frustration. It's important to prioritize self-care and give yourself the time and space to recharge. This could mean taking a day off, going for a walk in nature, or indulging in a hobby that brings you joy. Whatever it may be, taking a break can help you come back stronger and more resilient. Remember, rejection is not a reflection of your worth. It's simply a part of life and a chance to learn and grow. So, the next time you face rejection, don't be afraid to take a break and give yourself the care and compassion you deserve. 11. Don't compare yourself to others. It's human nature to compare ourselves to others. We constantly look at our peers, colleagues, and even strangers and measure ourselves against them. This is especially true in times of rejection. When we face rejection, whether it's from a job interview, a relationship, or a personal goal, we tend to look at those who have succeeded in the same area and wonder what they have that we don't. We question our worth, our abilities, and our choices. 
We begin to believe that we are not good enough, not smart enough, not talented enough. This comparison only adds salt to the wound of rejection and can lead to a downward spiral of self-doubt and negativity. But the truth is, comparing ourselves to others when faced with rejection is not only unproductive, but it's also unfair to ourselves. Every person's journey is unique, and we all face different challenges and setbacks along the way. Just because someone else achieved something we wanted doesn't mean that we are any less capable or deserving. We all have our own strengths, weaknesses, and paths to success. Furthermore, comparing ourselves to others often leads us to make unfair and inaccurate assumptions. We don't know the full story behind someone's success or their journey to get there. We only see the end result and make assumptions about their talents, luck, or advantages. This can create a distorted view of ourselves and our own potential. We may overlook our own achievements and strengths because they don't match up to someone else's. We may also underestimate the hard work and determination it took for them to reach their goals. Instead of comparing ourselves to others when faced with rejection, we should focus on our own journey and growth. Rejection is a natural part of life, and it's important to remember that it doesn't define us. It's just a temporary setback that can teach us valuable lessons and push us to improve ourselves. We should use rejection as an opportunity to reflect on our goals, our motivations, and our strategies. We should also surround ourselves with positive and supportive people who will remind us of our worth and help us see the bigger picture. We must also remember that rejection is not a reflection of our worth as a person. It's simply a mismatch between our skills and the requirements of a particular opportunity. We should not take it personally and allow it to damage our self-esteem. Instead, we should use it as motivation to work harder, learn more, and improve ourselves. In the end, comparing ourselves to others when faced with rejection only hinders our progress and self-confidence. We should focus on our own journey, celebrate our own successes, and learn from our failures. Rejection may feel like a setback, but it's just a detour on our path to success. So let's stop the comparison game and embrace our uniqueness and individual journeys. 12. Celebrate small wins. Rejection is a natural part of life, and it can come in many forms. Whether it's a rejection from a job, a romantic partner, or even from friends and family. It's a feeling that can be difficult to handle and can often leave us feeling defeated and discouraged. However, in the face of rejection, it's important to remember to celebrate small wins. You may be wondering, how can I possibly celebrate when I've just been rejected? The answer lies in shifting your perspective and recognizing that rejection is not a reflection of your worth or capabilities. Instead, it's an opportunity for growth and self-reflection. One way to celebrate small wins when faced with rejection is to acknowledge the effort you put in. Despite the outcome, you took a chance and put yourself out there, and that in itself is worth celebrating. It takes courage to face rejection, and it's important to give yourself credit for taking that leap. Another way to celebrate small wins is to focus on the lessons learned. Rejection can often provide valuable feedback and insights that can help you improve and grow. Use this as an opportunity to reflect on what you can do differently in the future and celebrate the fact that you are actively working towards self-improvement. Furthermore, it's important to recognize that rejection is not a personal attack. It's easy to internalize rejection and think that it's a reflection of our worth as individuals. However, it's important to remember that everyone faces rejection at some point in their lives and it's not a measure of our value. Celebrate the fact that you are resilient and have the strength to bounce back from rejection. In addition, celebrating small wins can also help to shift your focus from the negative to the positive. When faced with rejection, it's easy to get caught up in self-doubt and negative thoughts. By celebrating small wins, you are actively choosing to focus on the positive aspects of your life and accomplishments. This can help boost your self-confidence and remind you that rejection is just a small bump in the road. Lastly, celebrating small wins can also serve as a form of self-care. Rejection can be emotionally draining and it's important to take care of yourself during this time. By celebrating small wins, you are giving yourself a pat on the back and acknowledging your own worth and value. This can help to boost your mood and overall well-being. Rejection may be difficult to handle, but it's important to remember to celebrate small wins in the face of it. 
by acknowledging your efforts, focusing on lessons learned, and shifting your perspective, you can turn rejection into an opportunity for growth and self-care. So, the next time you face rejection, take a moment to celebrate the small wins and remember that it's just a stepping stone towards something greater. 13. Try a different approach. Rejection is something that we all have experienced at some point in our lives. Whether it is being turned down for a job, a promotion, or even by someone we have feelings for, rejection can be a painful and discouraging experience. However, instead of dwelling on the negative emotions that come with rejection, it is important to try a different approach. This could mean taking a step back and analyzing the situation objectively, rather than letting our emotions cloud our judgment. It could also mean seeking feedback from the person or company that rejected us in order to gain a better understanding of why we were not chosen. This feedback can help us identify areas for improvement and allow us to grow from the experience. Another approach could be to use rejection as motivation to work harder and strive for even greater success. Instead of seeing rejection as a failure, we can see it as an opportunity to learn and become better versions of ourselves. Additionally, it is important to remember that rejection is not a reflection of our worth as individuals. Just because we were rejected does not mean we are not capable or valuable. It simply means that in that particular situation, we were not the best fit. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, we can choose to focus on our strengths and continue to pursue our goals and dreams. Ultimately, how we handle rejection can greatly impact our future success. Instead of letting it bring us down, we can choose to use it as a stepping stone towards personal growth and achieving our aspirations. So, the next time we are faced with rejection, let us try a different approach and turn it into a positive and empowering experience. 14. Network and Make Connections Making connections and building a network is an essential part of any successful individual's career journey. However, it can be challenging to do so when faced with rejection. Rejection, whether it's from a job interview, a networking event, or a potential business partnership, can be demoralizing and discouraging. It can make us doubt our abilities and question whether we are on the right path. But rejection should not be seen as a roadblock. Instead, it should be seen as an opportunity for growth and learning. When faced with rejection, it's essential to acknowledge and process our emotions, but then use it as a motivation to push ourselves further. Rejection can be a powerful catalyst for building resilience and determination. One way to network and make connections after being rejected is to focus on building genuine relationships. Instead of solely approaching people for potential opportunities, take the time to get to know them on a personal level. Attend events or conferences related to your field of interest and strike up conversations with like-minded individuals. Building a real connection with someone can open up doors for future opportunities and collaborations. Networking is not just about making connections, it's also about offering value to others. When approaching potential connections, focus on how you can help them rather than what they can do for you. This approach can lead to more genuine and meaningful relationships, which can ultimately benefit both parties in the long run. Another essential aspect of networking after rejection is to maintain a positive attitude. It's natural to feel down after being rejected, but it's crucial not to let it affect our mindset. A positive attitude can attract like-minded individuals and opportunities that align with our goals and values. It's also essential to surround ourselves with a supportive network of friends, family, and mentors who can offer encouragement and advice during challenging times. In addition, leverage social media platforms to connect with professionals in your field. LinkedIn, for example, is a powerful tool for networking and making connections join relevant groups and engage in discussions, share your insights and expertise, and connect with individuals who inspire you. Social media can also be a great platform for showcasing your skills and accomplishments, which can attract potential connections and opportunities. Lastly, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Rejection can often make us feel hesitant and unsure of ourselves, but it's essential to remember that growth and progress happen outside of our comfort zone. Attend events or conferences alone, strike up conversations with strangers, and be open to new experiences. It's in these moments of discomfort that we can make the most unexpected and valuable connections. Rejection is a natural part of life, and it's important not to let it discourage us from networking and making connections. 
Instead, use it as an opportunity to learn, grow, and build resilience. By focusing on building genuine relationships, offering value to others, maintaining a positive attitude, leveraging social media, and stepping out of our comfort zone, we can continue to network and make connections even after facing rejection. These connections can lead to new opportunities, collaborations, and ultimately, a successful and fulfilling career. 15. Believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is not always an easy task, especially when faced with rejection. In these moments, it's crucial to practice self-love and self-compassion. Remind yourself of your strengths and accomplishments and understand that rejection is often not within your control. It could be due to various factors that have nothing to do with you as a person. Furthermore, it's necessary to have a growth mindset when faced with rejection. Instead of viewing rejection as a failure, see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Use the experience to reflect on what went wrong and how you can improve in the future. This approach will make you a better and stronger person in the long run. Also, remember that rejection is not a permanent state. It's just a momentary setback, and it's up to you to determine how long it affects you. Instead of dwelling on the rejection, use it as motivation to push forward and strive for what you want. Believe in yourself and your abilities to bounce back and keep moving towards your goals. Additionally, take the time to surround yourself with positive and supportive people. It's easy to isolate yourself and feel alone when facing rejection, but having a support system can make all the difference. Seek guidance and encouragement from loved ones, and don't hesitate to lean on them for support. Lastly, know that rejection can also lead to new and unexpected opportunities. Sometimes the rejection we face leads us down a path that we never would have considered before. Keep an open mind and trust that everything happens for a reason. Believe in yourself and your ability to handle whatever comes your way. You are resilient and capable, and no rejection can take that away from you. While rejection can be painful and challenging to deal with, it's essential to believe in yourself and your worth. Know that rejection is not a measure of your value as a person, and use it as a chance for growth and self-improvement. Surround yourself with positivity and trust that better things are coming your way. So, the next time you face rejection, remember to have faith in yourself and your abilities, and keep moving forward. In conclusion, rejection is not something to be feared or avoided. Instead, it can be a valuable tool for personal and professional growth. By following these 15 lessons, you can use rejection to your favor and turn it into a stepping stone toward success. Remember to keep a positive attitude, learn from the experience, and never give up on your dreams.